You may come across a situation where you need to convert Celsius to Fahrenheit or vice versa uh, quickly and if you don't have a calculator and know the conversion formula um, this, there is a an quick and easy way to to make the conversion. It's not going to be 100% accurate but as you'll see it's, it's fairly accurate and very easy to remember. So quite simply to convert Celsius to Fahrenheit you multiply the Celsius temperature by 2 and then add 30. So all you need to remember is 2 and 30. And as an example here you have 10 degrees Celsius times 2 is 20 plus 30 is 50 degrees Fahrenheit. If it's 25 degrees Celsius times 2 equals 50 plus 30 equals 80 degrees Fahrenheit. And to demonstrate the accuracy I have a table here with various Celsius readings. You have the quick method so the times 2 plus 30 and then you have the actual so if you did the long conversion this is what the actual conversion uh, temperature for Fahrenheit would be. And to the far right you can see the accuracy and you can see that uh, the further away from 10 degrees Celsius you become the less accurate it is but it's still in the 90s uh, and so for example 10 degrees Celsius quick method is 50 the actual is 50 degrees Fahrenheit as well that's hundred percent accuracy towards the extreme 30 degrees Celsius by the quick method is 90 degrees the actual is 86 but that's 95 percent accuracy so it's certainly not perfect you can't use this on an exam but if you're say and you're in Europe and someone tells you it's 10 degrees Celsius or 15 degrees Celsius or whatever the case is uh, you can quickly find out uh, within a few percentage points what the Fahrenheit conversion is so if it's 15 degrees Celsius times 2 is 30 plus 30 is 60 now to convert Fahrenheit to Celsius just reverse the order so instead of multiplying by 2 and then adding 30 you're going to subtract 30 and divide by 2 an example 90, 90 degrees Fahrenheit minus 30 equals 60 divided by 2 is 30 degrees Celsius 60 degrees Fahrenheit minus 30 is 30 divided by 2 is 15 degrees Celsius so again this is not 100 percent accurate um, but it's very very close and can come in handy when you're abroad in a place that doesn't use Fahrenheit and, and actually most places around the world don't use Fahrenheit they use Celsius so hopefully this will come in handy